welcome to our channel let us discuss problem number 11 draw the isometric projection of a hexagonal prism of side of base 40 mm and height 60 mm with a right circular cone of base 40 mm and diameter 40 mm diameter and altitude 50 mm resting on its top such that the axis of both the solids are collinear so at the bottom we have hexagonal prism above that we need to place a cone the hexagon of side 40 mm is given so construct hexagon orthographics of hexagon using continuous line thin line so 40 mm 0 degree 40 60 degree 40 2 times 60 40 3 times 60 40 4 times 60 is the angle and join to the base and get the dimensions between all the corners using distance between command and at the same time we are enclosing this hexagon in a box actually the bottom dimensions and top dimensions left dimensions and right dimensions will be same So once you get this dimensions for hexagon, start drawing it on 30 degree line, around 50 degree line. Let me take this 20, 40, 20 dimension on 30 degree line. So 20, 30 degree, 40, 30 degree, 20, 30 degree. Then the next dimension is 34.64, 150 degree, 34.64, 150 degree. We have taken term that is 20 40 20 will come on minus 150 degree 20 40 and 20 will come on minus 40 150 degree line then we have 34.64 minus 30 degree 34.64 minus 30 degree once you obtain this find the end point of this uh, to get the Required hexagon by you selecting the endpoints, you will get the required hexagon. Take axis line, line thickness 0.13 from the intersection better you draw a thin a thin line which joins these two corners. The midpoint of this line will be the center of the prism from which you we need to take hexagon sorry axis line hexagon height the hexagon prism of base side 40 mm and height is 60 mm so 60 is the length angle is 90 then switch to continuous line anyhow we have bottom hexagon for a prism base prism will have two base right so make use of move command switch on copy move from base to the top and join the corresponding sides using thick line and continuous line so this com completes the hexagon prism let me take this little bit down because above this we need to draw the cone so a cone of diameter base diameter 40 and altitude is 50 so to draw the cone we can consider it separately also we need to draw a square of 40 mm side make sure you use a thin line 0.13 and continuous line 40 30 degree 40 150 40 minus 150 40 minus 30 then the base of the cone is circle the isometric view of circle is ellipse 
So construct ellipse by center point method by joining the corner to opposite midpoint. Go for arc by center point method. Start drawing an arc from the intersection to the So this will be the center, intersection will be center, and this is the center uh, radius. And second arc, the intersection is here. This is the length of radius. Draw another arc. The third arc is from here to here. And final arc is here. Now take axis line. The intersection of these two so this is the center of you can see the relationship a dotted line which shows is the intersection of these two points the corners of the square from there you take axis of the cone axis of the cone is 50 mm so 50 90 degree take continuous line and join like a tangent tangent to the ellipse end point to the tangent to the ellipse now move the cone make use of move command move the cone from the base center and place it on the top of top center of the hexagon while move anyhow we don't want the copy of this cone so while moving switch off copy move from base of the cone to the top of the prism you can trim the unwanted lines the invisible edges you can trim these are the rear ends of the hexagon and construction line also you can trim but don't delete the axis Make use of zoom command to trim the small lines also. The interior part of the cone is going to be invisible. So the arc which is coming inside the cone, we need to trim. So this is the isometric view of the combination and make sure the, it is very thick except the axis line. Select entire thing and give scale command. Scale 0 0.8164 and place it. So this completes the problem number 11. Let's move to problem number 12. A cone of base diameter 30 and height 40 rests centrally over a cube of side 50. So cube of side 50 is very easy to construct. 50, 30 degree, 50, 150, 50, minus 150, 50, minus 30. Then from every corner, you take the height also 50 because for cube, the all sides are equal. 50 minus 90 50 minus 90 and join to the remaining corners so this is a cube and above this cube a cone of base diameter 30 mm so cone of base diameter 30 mm to construct ellipse of diameter uh, 30 mm we need square of 30 mm sides so anyhow we have square of 50 mm go for move command from the center i take zoom see this is the center the two dotted line indicates the relationship from that center and switch on copy and place it there itself and immediately go for scale scale factor that square we needed is cone base diameter is 30 30 divided by 
50 mm square we already having so 30 by 50 30 by 50 and the center will be same so choose this as a center so once you get a square of 30 join the corner to opposite midpoint to get the center to construct the ellipse go for arc by center point method draw an arc the intersection will be the center so this is the base of the cone now from center you take axis length the height of the cone is 40 mm so take zoom the center of this base we need to find take axis line so this is the horizontal line and this is the vertical line so intersection of these two is the center height of the cone is 40 mm so 40 mm 90 degree from there you choose continuous line join tangent to the ellipse trim the unwanted edges is going to be invisible and these are our construction lines and this is also going to be invisible so this is the isometric view of the combination make it thick convert into isometric projection by taking scale 0 0.8164 and place it and axis should be 0 0.13 thick so this is the solution for problem number 12 let's move on to problem number 13 a cone of base diameter 40 and height 50 rests centrally over a frustum of pentagonal pyramid of base side 45 mm and top side 35 mm height 55 mm draw the isometric projection of the combined solid so we have we have frustum of pentagonal pyramid base side is 45 so let me construct a pentagon of side 45 first 45 0 45 base side is 45 take length 45 0 degree 45 72 degree 45 2 times 72 45 3 times 72 45 4 times 72 is the angle then rotate this pentagon in such a way that one of its edges is vertical and get the dimension of this using distance between command so distance between i take zoom from well, if you choose the distance between, after taking every dimension, you need to right click in your mouse. Right click. After getting every dimension, you should right click in your mouse. Otherwise, this type of caution box will come. Dimension cannot be placed. So anyhow, the bottom dimensions and top dimensions will be same. We have enclosed this pent pentagon in a box. Let's consider this as a 30 degree line. The first dimension is 42.8 at an angle 30 degree, 26.45, 30 degree, 36.41 will be at an angle 150 degree, 36.41 at an angle 150 degree. Then 26.45 at 
minus 150 degree 42.8 minus 150 degree and this is 13.91 minus 30 degree 45 minus 30 degree 13.91 minus 30 degree now you take thick line 0.5 mm line search for the endpoints join the endpoints so this is the pentagon base pentagon we got so now this is the first term of pentagon pyramid take center by joining find the center by joining corner to opposite midpoint corner to opposite midpoint you take another corner and join to opposite midpoint now measure this this to distance distance from this midpoint to this intersection is 30.90 so 97 from here you take a thick line sorry thin line 30.97 at an angle 30 degree from there you take axis of the frustum of pentagon pyramid the axis of the frustum of pentagon pyramid is 55 so 55 90 degree now since it's a frustum you'll get top pentagon also choose the bottom pentagon go to move switch on copy from base center and place it on top center taking this endpoint as a reference and immediately go for scale the top pentagon side is 35 so scale factor will be 35 divided by original length is 45 35 divided by 45 and place it on the endpoint join the corresponding corners using thick line and line type should be continuous anywho the front three corners are enough the rear end is going to be invisible above this a cone of base diameter has to place a cone of base diameter 40 we just now we discussed how to construct the cone of base diameter 40 40 30 40 150 40 minus 150 40 minus 30 and join the midpoint opposite corner join midpoint to opposite corner and construct ellipse by midpoint method using arc by center point method uh, arc by center point command this is the first arc this is the center and this is the radius second arc the intersection of these two will be the center for third arc and finally this is the center this is the radius go to axis line the intersection of this diagonal corner and this corner intersection of these two If you are finding difficulty means go to line, thin line, just join these two corners. The cent the midpoint of this will be the center of the cone. From there, you measure the height of the cone is 50. 50, 90 degree. Join. Join a line. Line type should be continuous from the end point to the tangent to the ellipse. Now you move this cone. move this cone using move command place 
with exactly on the pentagonal pyramid and trim the unwanted edges. Take zoom and trim the unwanted edges. The construction lines are not required and you need not to do any dimensioning for isometric projection. Can take zoom further to get clear picture he fit and Select all, this should be thick. So make it 0.5 and thick. Convert to isometric scale. Take scale 0 0.816. So this is the solution for problem number 13. Thank you.